All right, so our site is getting a bit bigger. Let's go ahead and add a, a contact form. And let's just say we want um, a couple of pieces of information and probably um, you know that forms on the web need to have a submit button. Um, these might as well be uh, paragraphs um, since they're sort of, even though they're not paragraphs, they're paragraph-like. So we can go ahead and put paragraph tags around them. But how do we make this into a form, an actual form? They need those blanks and everything. Well, the first thing we need to do is tell HTML that this, these things, these three elements make up a form. So we use the form element to do that. So the, the three things in here are making up our form. Easy enough. We then need to say that these are not actually, what are these? Well, they're labels. So let's say that they're labels. And we have three labels. And the labels aren't all we need. These are actually closes. Give me a second. The labels aren't all we need. We need to have inputs for each of these. Well, actually, this submit is not a label so much as a button. So let's say it's a button. And we'll close the button. Um, so these two are labels. And they need something where we can input something. So we'll put an input here. And we'll put an input here. We're actually pretty close here. In fact, if we save this, file save, and we take a look at it in a browser, we've got something that looks very much like a form. The problem is this does this won't be functional at all. It doesn't actually do anything. We might actually want some colons in there too. So to have it be able to work as a form, you need to be able to send the information from this form to a server. So the way that forms on the web work is that you fill out the form, you hit submit, and then it gets shipped off to a server to do something else. And so to be able to do that, we need to tell it what we want it to do with this when it's done. And, and there's two things we can do with it. Right now we're going to use post, which means to send it, actually, actually wrap all of these into individual envelopes and send the package off to a server. The question is, what server should that be? Um, right now, we don't have a web page for it to go to, so um, we're going to go ahead and, and put one anyway and just say, uh, let's say, um, myserver.com, and then we'll have it say, uh, handle <laughs> dot whatever, PHP. So this tells uh, the um, browser what it should do with this form. Now one of the tricks here is that we need the input to be placed in it. We need to label it somehow. We need to let people know um, what this thing is on the back end. So this kind of puts a label on it. It tags it in some way. And so we tag whatever the, the user puts in this box with the label cust name. We should probably do this one too and tag it with, uh, say, cust email. Now when it goes to the server, it'll have these tags on it, so the server will know what to do with this data. Without those tags, it'll just come in as random input, and, and they won't know, the server won't know what to do with it. Um, we could also say what type of thing this is. Type equals email. Um, this provides us a way of um, uh, doing some rudimentary check checking. Mind you, this is all for HTML5. Um, type email um, provides some kinds of checking on what's going on in this particular form element. So if we save this, file save, and if we refresh it here, nothing has happened. Um, well, we added in those colons. Um, but um, it, this has a form that once we have something that can catch it, can handle the back end, we have a working form for contacting someone.